Hey guys, Rusake here, and welcome to Smoky 2. So, um, we haven't played this. We've been playing this on stream quite a bit, but we haven't actually played it on YouTube. So, I said screw it. Let's just play some on YouTube, because I feel like playing today, but I don't really feel like streaming today, because I'm definitely not feeling 100%. So, um, yeah, let's get into it, and we get that first run of the day music. It's so glorious. It just prepares you to freaking feel great in this run. I hate this situation though. Sir, can you not? Let's just wait. Hiya! Sir, stay there. Thank you. Um, oh my god, I almost just hit the ghost pot. Now, I'm not great at this game, um, by any means, and I don't want spoilers or help. I'm just trying, you know, we're just trying things out. I've been... I've been decently far, but I haven't beaten the game yet. Oh, I'm sorry, Monty. I love you. You were a hero. Everyone will remember you. I swear upon... What? <laughs> Let's get as much money as we can first off. Yo, why you gotta be like this, though? But yeah, so I haven't beaten the game, but I have been extremely far. And I've technically been far enough to where... If I had gone one way instead of another, I would have been in a position to beat the game. Um, I'm not fully comfortable with killing the shopkeepers every time yet. Like, I know that that's like the quote unquote meta of the game. Is like, uh, you know, once you're good enough, you just kill the shopkeeper every single time. Cause you get so much, so many rewards for it. And I'll try to explain things as I go along too. Like, I'm not gonna explain every uh, monster. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> We're alive, that's all that matters. Um, I'm not gonna explain every monster or anything, but if there's something that seems like it's uh, super important or relevant, I will explain it. And speaking of super relevant things or important things, this right here is a key. It'll help me unlock something. That'll help me later if I find it, and I did, wow. Oh my god, that shop is insane. So if I knew how to kill shopkeepers reliably, this would be the shop that you would murder every shopkeeper a thousand times over for. But like I said, I'm not that confident, so I'm just gonna do one of these, one of these, one of these, and we'll just be happy with our situation. Got a billion bombs. So we need to be in the mindset that like, all right, you see a situation you don't like. You got a feeling it's gonna go poorly. Torky, it's a torky. Um, <laughs> yeah, if you see a situation you don't like, throw a bomb at it, man. All right, that was a situation I didn't like, but thank you, Toiki. That could have been my death right there, by the way. The odds of me seeing that and my slow boomer reaction speed, just had a birthday, by the way. <laughs> There's no way we would have dodged that one. I ain't even putting it past myself to just have gotten hit by that. All right, we'll capture two Toikis. I don't know if we're gonna save the Toikis or not, though. We'll see, hold on. Do that, bring you down. Let's see, what are we gonna do here? Do we wish to save them? It, it's all like, oh, that's un, that's kind of inconvenient. You know what? This was one of those moments I was talking about. Let's just do one of these and call me in the morning. Okay, it's not a, it wasn't a great bomb, I'll admit. So where was the end? Was this the end? No, it's kind of here. Okay, so, oh, he's, you know what? We'll waste a, we'll waste a bomb, or we'll waste a rope. Uh, I just want to make sure he gets in. Okay. So he's in, he's safe, our, our cute puffer is officially home free. Now that he's home free, let's go do a little exploring. There's my boy, there's my boy Yang. So Yang likes turkeys, uh, no one knows why, but he loves turkeys and he wants you to save him. And we've saved both turkeys, so he gives us a key. Now this is completely randomly generated, you never know what you're going to get in here, but we got some ropes and some money. Was it worth it? You know, I, I gotta say it probably was, all things considered. It was only positives. I don't know why we're trying this hard to get like a dollar here, but we'll take it. Ah! Oh my god, that spadoodle. And it hit the thing in my hand. Could you imagine if I just died there? I'd be so sad. Like I said, I'm not great at this game, okay? Don't bully me. Okay, we have three life. Um, We have three life? Oh, and some good money. Did it say there was a the sound of beating drums? I actually wasn't paying attention. It probably did, because this looks like the setup for it. 
but you'll see what that means in a minute because we're going right there um so this is a boss this is cool back he controls this place he says you a bitch etc 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 i do want to kill him if we can as long as it's not super inconvenient and it doesn't seem he's cooperating right now oh don't don't crush that which is rare because Quillback almost never cooperates. He just hates people and he kills them. So I would never recommend the strat. This is not a strat I've seen literally anyone else do because it's stupid. But I do it because I'm greedy. So, oh my God, he did. He killed himself. Fantastic. That sounds fucked up. <laughs> it kind of is. Oh, I probably shouldn't be using the F word that early in a YouTube video. Whatever. Heck you algorithm. Um, so we can go both ways here. I kind of want to get the puppy, to be honest with you. But I think I'm going to take the extra time to go ahead and kill this guy so he doesn't cause problems. Because I want the life. I just wonder how many... We have bombs, though. If, if we didn't have bombs, I wouldn't recommend doing this. Especially if you don't want to waste your bombs. But not only do we have bombs, but we just got a bomb bag from Quillback himself. So, let's just go ahead and waste some bombs. Um, yeah, like I said, I would almost never recommend doing this because, you know, one light, one HP isn't worth that much when you have like four already, but screw it. And you know what? I never do this because they always get me killed, but come on, hired help. You know, I'm going to grab that money. No, I'm not. I'm dumb. <laughs> I forgot. I don't have spring boots or anything. Okay. We are in the jungle and the dead are restless. That is not a good... Hey, come here. Go get your friend. There we go. Now we got we got two hired help. So the thing about hired help, oh, there's nothing about hired help. That's all you need to know. <laughs> so that's Splunky for you. Let's go ahead and get another run going though. Um, I didn't even see that man. I that's so sneaky. And the one thing that you will come to love. And, you know, if you're a masochist and uh, terrible at the game like me. Oh my god. Oh, but, oh we're restarting. <laughs> so we got poisoned by a scorpion. I think the poison does, does like 10 health or something. I don't know the exact number, but I know that every single time I get it, it kills me. I know that you can out heal it. I just don't know the numbers. So. Which means that you either need to go insanely fast or you need to get insanely lucky. So definitely my fault there. God, look at all this free money just sitting here. Now, there is a way to make this jump. You need to be a god king. I, like, I've seen people do it, okay? I'll give it a couple of times. Because, like, you, you technically hold your jump for, like, a split second while you're off the corner. Am I am I crazy? And I have, I could have sworn I seen somebody do this. I think I, I literally saw a northern lion do this. <laughs> you know what? We're bad. We'll accept that we're bad and move on. It's free money anyway. It's free real estate, some would say. But really, the sound design in this game is absolutely beautiful. I'm not even going to go over there. There's just a trap waiting to shoot me in the face. So, Generally, the way that most people play, and what I've watched and heard from friends and stuff, is like the first floor is literally just for speedrunning, pretty much. Because there's nothing on the first floor ever that's like really important so you just try to grab if you don't kill shopkeepers like me you just try to grab as much money as you can and make sure you grab your boy monty because monty's gonna give you that little bit extra health which is nice cool scary man i thought i would jump but i hit my head i hit my freaking i donked my freaking noggin like a freaking dummy head i don't know where i was going with that i was gonna say freaking um was I gonna say? You know what? I guess it didn't matter that much if we can't remember. Okay, so we got our key. Ooh, pretty good shop again. Hello, thank you. Darwin shop, huh? Interesting. Um, man. Oh, there's a Kali altar. So I'm looking where I want to put the key. So the key, uh, the key can spawn randomly, but no matter how randomly it spawns, Actually, we want to do it this way, so we have a way up here just in case. But yeah, so the key can spawn randomly, 
anywhere in the stage, but the door that it goes into always looks the same. So you'll know just by looking at it if it's the door or not. Go ahead and set that off. Oh, not with you. I said set that up. Really game. Ow, hit myself with the key. Yeah, you know, better than the arrow though. That would have been too damaged. So there's the door. The door always looks like that, by the way. Like no matter what. So we have an easy way in and out of this, so I really want to sacrifice more people to the great god of Kali, but it just doesn't look like it's gonna work out that way. I don't see anyone else that's easily sacrificable. I mean you might be saying, yo, there's a shopkeeper right there, and while you're not wrong, you know, my inferior intellect does not allow me to do such things. So is this gonna piss off the shopkeeper if I set this off? I don't think it will. No, because he's above it. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you. You hit once, you grab, you jump. It, that's worked out for me every time. So I'm I'm not going to say that's the strat. Oh, but we have pitchers met and I totally forgot that was a thing. That's going to make this way more awkward. Oh my God, pitchers met though. It, I almost never have pitchers met, so that's kind of crazy to me. Okay, there's our Torky boy. Torkies are dangerous, okay? And you always don't want to turn them into Yang. So sometimes you do, for sure. Ah, uh, but that's another thing that's really nice about the Torkies that no one, I don't think many people really talk about, but I think ev pretty much everyone understands, is that the Torkies are like meat shields. And I get that from Northern Lion, by the way. I can't stop calling them Torkies now. It's like, oh, poor turkey. But I'll show you the other use of turkeys right now. Actually, we'll take them first, just in case. But then I'll show you the use of turkeys. So, got some turkeys. Add a bomb. Let it cook. Boom. What you got? Fried turkey. It's not actually fried. Oh, I want that. Oh, wait, we can just jump back over. It's fine. But yeah, each turkey, when he burns... Ooh. You know, we don't need this, but... Oh, what the bullcrap? Sorry! No! I didn't want to do this! Ah! Ah, bullets! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I didn't know the pitcher's mitt would make it fly out, bro! I didn't know that was a thing! Oh, I feel like I've been robbed. Well, I guess we're killing shopkeepers this run. Smile. So this is pretty much how it always goes for me when I'm like, I'm not gonna kill shopkeepers. I find a way to be stupid enough to kill shopkeepers. It's pretty tempting to go kill Yang and fry up his turkey, but I'm just gonna leave. Cause we already have enough problems to deal with now. Oh my God. Small brain gameplay right there, by the way. Well, actually it's not. I'm not, I, I'm not even taking the blame for that, okay? There's no way I could have known that that's how that interaction works. Cause I've never had the interaction happen like that. I'm actually not gonna take the blame on that one. I don't want to go to Volcania, so if at all possible, I would love him to roll and do a long roll. Long roll. <gasps> wow, he didn't freaking. Okay, that was very scary. I thought he was gonna keep rolling. Come, 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 come. Ah, uh, is he gonna keep going? Oh. Hey, over here. No, why you make this stressful for me? Ah, okay. Oh no, he killed himself and I shot the bomb bag. I'm so dumb. I don't know why, but for some reason, I, I just did not think I peppered him enough. I, I'm, mm, we don't really have, it's only one bomb actually. It's one bomb for one HP. Oh, you know what I hadn't considered though? So I think I might have to kill two shopkeepers here. Cause normally there's only one shopkeeper in the way of your exit, but we're technically gonna be looking at two separate exits here, so. I meant to throw him um, small brain. Yeah, that's just what I thought would happen there. I want to do that and go back up here and grab the gun. He should leave by himself. Oop, get the gun. Right, did he leave? Yeah, okay. So now we go back, but we can go the high road. We can go the high road. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Um, I think it'll blow to, to I think it'll blow up that whole side there. Indeed. We push this out. Oh, you're in an awkward position. Is 
that's bad that's bad that's bad i'm dead that's bad that's bad no i messed it up i dodged his one shot so the whole idea there is i wanted to get on that rope because i knew the rope was definitely for safety this is unnecessarily dangerous um how do i do this hold on if i die here hold on let's try it over here actually oh we can't we can try it here though okay that oh thank god i would have definitely died what i wanted to do there is i wanted to slow walk and grab the edge because if you drop on the spikes you'll die obviously however if you don't actually drop onto them and you like uh let yourself down like this you crouch and walk to the edge that's what i wanted to do then you can just fall onto them if you're if you're in the same block as them if that makes sense because if you're too high oh that's so nice oh my god okay so climbing gloves makes ropes slightly less necessary they're still good to have and you never know when you're gonna need them but it just makes some situations a lot more simple like this one normally you wouldn't really want to come down here because you got to push that thing all the way over here but i can just grab the edge really nice there is a problem of course problem being well you know ow when you're dumb like that no that's not the problem <laughs> Uh, the problem being you'll accidentally grab the edge when you don't mean to like right here Like what if I'm running from something that I just accidentally grab and like ah Or what if you're trying to fall down, right? So say you're like here and you're trying to fall down and You press it down and you accidentally do that. It could be awkward, but like I said it uh, ugh, Like that It's not really a problem. It's something that oh you freaking spadoodle, bro All right, we're taking a lot of damage a lot of dumb damage very very preventable damage stupid snack don't trust him ah uh, see like that i suck and i'm gonna get myself murdered that way oh this has been set off i see because there's a little arrow here that one has not though man i want monty but i don't think i'm gonna bomb for a monty or do you bomb for a monty maybe maybe the maybe the galaxy brain movies you do bomb for monty we already set that off. Oh no, I didn't even realize that though. We're definitely gonna have to waste a bomb on that. Which makes this whole situation more complicated because we can't really look far enough over there. Oh my God, you know what? We're gonna do some stupid stuff that I would never recommend in a million years. That's already been set off, we're good. Oh, I, I guess we didn't need to use a rope there. See, that's, that's one of those weird things too. Oh, that's actually really, really convenient. So. This, one, this bomb wasn't really that bad. I mean, this one, unfortunately, has to be done because we can't get out otherwise. So we're officially out of bombs, so if the shopkeeper has bombs, we're wasting every bit of money we have to get them. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Uh, so I do kind of want to sacrifice all these bodies to Kali. There, so the thing is... There's a point system with sacrificing bodies to Kali. And I think it works out to like, dead bodies are worth one point. Alive bodies, like this one, if we're good. Oh, we don't have it, we don't have it. Oh, okay. Let's see, let's see if we can get it though, let's try. Try for just the whip. It's a little risky. He's a little confused, he doesn't know how to get to us. Oh, come on, you're wasting so much time, come over here. Okay, live bodies are with two. Um, and I think we may have enough time to go for one more sack. Oh, that's a hard jump. Oh my god. Wait, he's he's I'm not gonna carry this guy alive the whole way. Um And pretty much the whole point behind Sacrifice and Akali is she gives you rewards at certain tiers of points. And for two damsels which are the little dogs which i guess they're not really damsels anymore i don't know why i still call them that but for two pets which are the dogs which are worth eight points a piece oh well we'll try it this time but this time i don't have um i don't have the wrong thing so it should be fine so one through six you lose if you roll a seven you win the prize and eight through twelve you win and make make money and we want this because this could be a free shotgun without killing shopkeepers, which would make our lives so much easier. Come on. Come on. A six, one away. It, it takes a minute. Honestly, even if we spend the, like most of the stage doing this, this is fine. We already have the eye 
that thing that we go into the cave for that allows us to see stuff in the walls and it also allows us to oh nice oh we already have that but it allows us to see stuff in the walls and also allows us to do a secret later which is one of the reasons that's pretty much the main reason why we get it you can also make a lot of money using it technically but hoping he would trigger that um you know what let's not even worry about this let's just leave i do want the money though it takes two seconds okay don't don't be lazy do your due diligence um, it's gonna make that awkward if we have to come back through here let's just not have to come back through here smiley face but yeah if we actually get there i will explain further Okay, so we have Yang here. I don't think we're going for the Toikis. Oh, you're making my life so difficult, sir. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry, Monty. I didn't mean to slap you in the face. My thoughts are super scattered, by the way, because this game, it, uh, it looks a lot more simple than it is, is what I would say. Like, there's so much going on, and the platforming is really, really tight. Okay, we'll take the Toiki. We're not going to turn him into Yang. We... So to turn them into Yang, you have to have both turkeys, and sometimes they can be like out of your way. You have to waste a lot of resources to attempt to do it, so it's not really worth it. And from what I found out, it's not worth to do it most of the time, really. I'm pretty tempted to just grab that. Get out of here. Um, I mean, I guess we'll keep our uh, we'll keep the Turkster going on here. I hate you. Oh, I don't want to shoot my turkey, though. We've become good friends. What? I one-shot him? I've never done that. Well, that's kind of awkward, because now we need to waste some bombs. It's not a big deal, really, but... I just, you know, never expect to do it. I know there's a creature over there. There we go. Um, so this is where we will say... Do we say goodbye to Turks? Yeah, I think we do. I think we juggle both of these in here, even though it's a little kind of tedious. All right, he should walk his way most of the way there. Let's go grab our gun, say goodbye to the turkey. The reason you say goodbye to the turkey isn't because we don't want him. We can't actually take him through this door, so we have to bomb down underneath there and uh, pretty much just waste a bunch of extra bombs that I'm not really feeling. Go ahead and let him walk by. I hate you. You know, I knew it was going to happen too. It's funny because I do it almost every time. I do the same thing. And we are going to go back for our gun. Um, I do this thing where I'm like, okay, I know what I want to do here. And I have it like, oh, all worked out. And then I do the opposite anyway because I have the smallest brain known to man. Like, if you, uh, there's a chance for every one of those like vases or jars or whatever you want to call them to have an enemy in them or to have money or potentially even a jewel. So logic would dictate every time you see one of those, you would want to whip twice or shoot twice just in case it has something bad on it, right? That's pretty, oh, you son of a bee, literally. Um, <laughs> nope, nope. You want no secret though? Watch this shit. Sorry, dog. Hopefully that killed him. It didn't. It didn't. It's okay though. We were able to get away. I feel kind of bad now because we murdered Monty, but it's okay. So the whole reason you want to kill the queen bee if you ever see her is because she gives you that massive HP boost right there. Oh my god, okay. Well, I kind of just maybe doomed us a little bit for something I didn't want to have to do. If we even get there, we could just die immediately like last time we got here. It's very easy to die in the jungle. There's so much bullcrap here. I don't want him to be left alone without a hive, you know? I gotta murder, murder them all. Oh, there's a machete in the wall. That's a little weird. So we'll be listening for a little blinking noise, by the way. If you're wondering, like, I hear a blinking noise right now. You, well, you'll know with the blinking noise, those spiders make it, which is annoying, by the way. But with the blinking noise, you'll also hear, or you'll also see that eye in the top right, that thing we got. It's called the Ujad eye. You'll also see that that thing starts to blink. 
And when that starts blinking, that means that there is a secret around that we want to find. <laughs> yeah, much better. Oh my god, I almost got spiked. That would have been terrible. Do you see how much easier it is when you have the freaking shotgun, though? So nice. So, we want to make $40,000, if at all possible, during our time here. It's going to be very unlikely. Because we don't really have the bombs to just waste away. Oh my god, I see it. I see it. Oh, I hate that we took that damage. I saw that and didn't want to die to it. But you're probably asking yourself, well, why $40,000 there, Chief? Really wish you'd explain stuff to us. I don't have to keep asking these questions. No, 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 no. That was almost dumb. I really didn't need to panic there. I had that totally under control, but my brain didn't know what to do. And that's really the problem in Spelunky is like, stuff happens fast. Okay, so this is one of the jungle sisters. Um, if you save three of them, you get a bomb box, which is really nice. Well, if you save one, you get a uh, pack of ropes. And if you save two, you get a small bomb bag. So they're always good to save if they aren't too difficult to get to. But yeah, so the, when the Ujet starts blinking, wait, oh, it's blinking. I think we're going to have to waste both our bombs here, unfortunately. Yeah, because that didn't frickin' reveal it. Where is it? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. We wasted a bomb. That's okay, though. Oh, it's it's kind of not okay. But we're in the black market. It's a secret area. Uh, tons and tons of shopkeepers, tons of stuff on sale. Now, if we want to do the secret that I'm thinking about doing, we're definitely going to have to anger every shopkeeper in here. I don't know that number, shut up. Um, and uh, kill them all, which, you know, probably not that great of an idea. But there's really nothing else we can do about it because there's no way we're going to be able to make 40,000. Well, I guess it's not 40,000, it's $15,000 in here now. So that's probably what we're going to do. I'm just going to pray that there's enough money in here and we're going to go look before we decide to make them angry. And there's nowhere close to that amount of money here. So what we're going to do are some strats that I learned from a man called Michael L. Fox. Now, I don't know if these still work because, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I just don't really keep up with the Splunky scene all that much. Not because I don't like it, but just because I'm bad. So you make them all angry. They drop down there. Then you get on the ladder. Yeah, there you go. You just hit him with some of that. And this should kill most of them, if we're lucky. So this is where, okay, this is where it gets complicated, because there's definitely some more alive, and we don't know where they are. Oh my god, it was hired help. Eh, I killed him anyway, sorry bud. Okay, well he's not here, so let's go ahead and grab the head jet. Go ahead and shoot down here a little bit. A little, little, little scurred. So, oh, there he is. This is a frost gun? What the fuck? Oh, look at all the bombs. Oh my god. Alright. Where's he at? We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. We still, now we have to deal with shop gears for the rest of the run, which really freaking sucks, don't get me wrong. But look how much, look at all the crap we just got, my, my dudes. That's so beautiful. And now we got the 40,000 to buy it, lol. <laughs> You're not wrong. Um, just kill the hired help. Ah, uh, you know what? Let's bring him along for a little bit. Maybe he'll do some miracle plays. Sometimes they do. Technically, this is used in another part of the secret, but I, I'm definitely not good enough to do that part of the secret. Hell, I'm not good enough to do this first part of the secret, so... Ooh, that's very scary. Come down here, shoot him in the back while he ain't looking. Just keep shooting. Don't ever... Never, ever stop shooting. Okay, we've killed them all. How do I know? Well, I have a thing called the shopkeeper, uh, the angry shopkeeper icon in the top right. 
You don't see it right now, obviously, because the shopkeepers are dead. But if they were alive, it'd be bleeping like a mofo. And the reason why I have that is because after you kill one shopkeeper, you have infinite shopkeepers to deal with forever after that, pretty much. Which is very, very annoying. Which, I guess the, the real annoyance in it is that the shopkeeper music overrides the rest of the game's music, right? So we wouldn't get to hear the lovely jungle music because you'd hear bam, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, just some freaking poppin' shopkeeper music because they're pissed off at you. So this allows you to know when they're angry at you, but also preserve the music of the game, which is just, just fantastic, really. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go ahead and do this so he eats it. Once he eats it, we'll come down here and shoot him in the face. Oh, you don't have to kill everything, by the way. We're kind of killing everything. Oh, that's a terrible situation. That's such a bad situation. I'm just gonna use a bomb. Bombs make things more complicated because you don't really know. Because you're skipping an, an, the integral way that it was designed to be ran, I guess, is the way I'd say. So it can be a little confusing. I really want this guy to not. Oh my god, the whole situation is awful. And he's behind us just waiting there. That is horrible. So as you can see, that thing on the top right, that was so scary. I thought for sure he was about to murder my dumb ass. <sighs> Monty. You know, we got so much life, though. We're okay right now. All right, we're at Olmec. It's kind of hot. This is probably going to be the last run. I want these to go like an hour, so maybe it won't be. But the runs can be extremely short, extremely long, as you've seen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get him out of there. Let him chill there for a minute. So we saved two sisters, so we do get a little bit of a reward, which is always nice. Um... So sometimes there's stuff on the top. Oh, that was unfortunate, to say the least. Uh, it's just Spelunky, bro. All right. I can't believe that just happened. We were set up for success so hard, bro. Oh, my God. Here comes the cycle of tilt. This is the cycle of Spelunky, too. Like, things are going so well. You make one minor mistake, and then you die instantly. And then for the next, like, 13 runs, which obviously it's just going to be one more, if, you know, if we play well, which is never guaranteed, <laughs> uh, and then you just, like, tilt out of existence because, you know, the one bullcrap thing is still in your brain, but you have to, like, you have to put it behind you or you'll never go forward. It's the infinite cycle of tilt. I've been, I've been here many times. Not only in Spelunky, but, you know, just in gaming. Ooh, in general. Oh, that's two bombs, though. Is that worth two bombs? Let's see if I go... Is it even two bombs? One, two... Because the bomb won't stay here is the problem. It'll go down, I think. Two, two... It'll be three bombs? It's not even worth two bombs. Oh, it was definitely not worth two bombs. Holy moly. But, I mean, it could have been. Oh, that was very close. Way too close. This is going to be worth a rope, which I mean we just got more ropes. Hey! Oh, snap! Ah, that's not promising. <laughs> I mean... All right, whatever. We got our bombs back. We'll take it. And that see, that was me doing that dumb mistake again. I was like, I should, oh, if I ever see a pot, I should whip it twice because there may be an enemy in it. And then what I do, immediately I run on the pot. All righty. You know, as far as first floors go, it, I've seen worse. So we'll take it. Now, the torch is interesting for a lot of different reasons, and I'll explain them in just a second once we get our... K9 compadre out of here. Ooh. Okay. Let's let him go find his way. You can go your own way. Grab our torch again. Um, no copyright strike, please. Okay, so where did our feathered friend go? He went the right way. That's good. Let's go the wrong way first. But the thing about the torch being lit is we it hits them once for normal contact damage. Then on top of that, it also does one damage because of the fire. You kind of, you get like a little bit of double damage there, which is quite nice. Oh, it's our boy Yang. Hmm. That's wonderful though. And that's the other reason why the torch is amazing. is because torch equal fire. Fire equal cooked torkies. So, we see torkies 
We're cooking the hell out of them. Okay, do that first. There we go. Ow. Can't believe it hit me. Kind of sad about it. Okay. Yo, where's our boy? We put him down here. Oh my god. Wait, did he just run all... Did he get away? Oh. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> I think he just... He peaced out. Oh my god. You are lovely. It sucks that we only got the one Torquey, because you know there's multiple Torqueys there, but... I know. One Torquey better than no Torquey. Oh, this is beautiful. Screw you! <laughs> I'll take the rock with us. This is only the third stage, so we don't have beating drums till the fourth. Go ahead and hit him with one of those to get that out of there. Ah! Those, those by the way, are... Uh, son of a bitches is what me and my wife have dubbed them, if you were curious. What they do? Well, it's not really necessary what they do. All you need to know is they're son of bitches. But I'll tell you anyway, just because, you know, why not? Uh, we use, we have way more bombs than we do ropes. Whether this is the right call or not, I'm not sure yet, because we may have to use a rope either way. We'll see. But what those guys do, the red snakes, they actually spit poison. And when it poisons you, as earlier when we got poisoned, you're pretty much dead. Ah, this is horrible. Okay. Sorry, Monty. I love you. Monty, get out of here. Stop dying. You're not the intended recipient of all this hate. Yeah. Go and save our boy. Wonderful. We've gotten so lucky with the keys here lately. One thing I'll say is when I was streaming this game, every single time there were there were opportunities to get the headjet eye, it would 100% be... Wait, it's not called headjet, is it? What the hell is this thing? I can never remember. The Ujet. It's Ujet, not Headjet. Yeah, the Ujet Eye. So every time you get the Ujet Eye, it would always be in a position where like I either couldn't get it without making the shopkeeper extremely angry, or I would have to uh, use like three bombs, which is just awful. Because in the world's best situation, you just use nothing and get it, right? <laughs> you jerk, I hate you. I don't know why I went to kill him. He was out of the way. I didn't even have to touch him. But my brain, for some reason, was like, yellow dog. Look at him. <gasps> you son of a gun. That was fantastic. Okay, we got him to roll the correct direction. We have spike shoes also. So double whip these so you don't do something stupid. There we go. Oh. Glorious, 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 glorious. There's actually a secret here with that ghost pot that we could probably do here, but I'm not gonna do it. Mainly because the run, oh, I didn't mean to slap the golden thing in the face. The main reason I'm not going to is because the run's already going well enough. And I don't really feel any, uh, any need to get out of here. But if your run is going terrible up to this point and you don't really have anything going for you, there's a secret you can perform here that I don't want to spoil because I'd rather you guys see it than me spoil it. Because I feel like it's... Ah, no. Oh, we're so lucky. We, Man, these pots have been rude today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, you just got to call them out and they're like, my bad. Um, but I'd rather you see it than uh, just hear about it. So hopefully we'll just quit sucking one day and be able to do it. Yo, I'm not buying that for 10k. I don't... So, we may try the black market again. And if we do, hopefully we get lucky enough to where... Um, we won't have to murder the shopkeepers. Pretty much we need 40k at the very least. But we'd love like 50 to 60. Which is a lot. I didn't know what that was, so I kind of freaked out, I'll be honest. Yo, little buddy, do you think you could go over there and grab this for me? This is so dumb. Ah, okay. I want to do that same thing, but I want to grab it. This time, don't panic me. You have this. You're a professional game war. Oh, God, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not not scared. I was playing that up for the camera. I swear. There's only a little bit of doo-doo in my pants. <laughs> that's, that's stage doo-doo right there. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Oh, my God. The voice echo, I'm pretty sure, means that this is a really big stage. 
We have 35 K, so we're pretty close. The oh, I can't see. Oh, that's a bad situation. Oh my God, he's crazy. That's something that you need to know about the hired help too, is they do some insane MLG pro strats sometimes. Then sometimes they just jump right into the arms of death. It's very, very strange. Oops. And it's really a 50-50 on what you're gonna get out of them. Monkey, what are you gonna do here, bud? Don't. I hate wasting a rope like that, but smarter choice. Jerk. I hate these guys so much. Oh, don't curse me. Oh, I'd have been so upset. I would have been so angry. I need the money. Oh, I don't need the money so bad as to waste a rope, though. But I will grab this. That's free low. Okay, we got the 40k. So if we find the black market, which is always an if, that was dumb of me. Um, we don't have to worry about having to actually murder the shopkeepers, which is a blessing, by the way. Um, so we also just got the four leaf clover. And when you get the four leaf clover, that means you don't have to worry about the ghost. The, normally the ghost, I don't think we've seen the ghost, have we? Normally the ghost comes at three minutes and will terrorize you until you leave the stage. Pretty much like a, a way to make you hurry the crap up in, in a sense. And uh, this will delay the ghost, I believe, till five minutes? I'm not 100% sure on that time, but I think that's true. And when you're, when you're in here in the jungle, you wanna look around to see if you can see anything. Generally the black market, but I don't think there is one on this floor because I'm pretty sure we would have seen some light or something from there. kind of sucks oh man that guy's in such an ugly position I hate it okay he can't he can't touch you you don't touch him it's a weird statement but it's very true I'm pretty sure there's no black market here I wouldn't put my money on it but I'm pretty sure oh that man got eaten by a man trap I'm leaving alone out of that all right let's uh let's skedaddle like I said, I don't think we missed the black market there. Maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Got a feeling it's gonna be on this stage. Yeah, yeah, be like that sometimes, bro. But thanks for convincing me to not go that pathway, that's all I gotta say. Because I was definitely thinking about it. But watching you get horrendously murdered has completely changed my outlook on life. Okay. Do we see anything? There's the vault. So the vault is guarded by a shopkeeper and has a lot of money in it. It's really only useful in daily runs or if you can just accidentally get it. Um, and are we really about that to go back? I think we will. I don't know how we're gonna deal with the situation though. This is a really awkward one. I guess we can just go around it. Yeah, you know, going around it and not into the death pit, probably a great idea. Wait, was that a blink? No, that was the little monkey going boop. It's a, her a terrible situation. Um, oh, there's a blink. There's a blip. Where is it, though? Where the heck did we just... Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, bro. You know, that's the problem with the freaking eye, too, is you're always looking at it and so where you're going. But that'll be a decent first video. We made it to the black market. Honestly, that's about as good as I would expect my runs to go. I'm no bear taffy. I'm no northern lion. I'm not going to pog out, pog out of control. If I'm going to get anywhere, it's going to be on a miracle run that no one saw coming. There's going to be like 30 near-death attempts. And then I'm barely going to scathe by by the skin of my teeth. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for watching this first Spelunky 2 video. If you guys liked it, a like and potentially even a subscription would be greatly appreciated. Sharing it with your friends? Now that's just nutty. But if you did it, I'd still appreciate it. I would love the series to take off because I absolutely am in love with this game. I wouldn't say that like Splunky 1 like gripped me as strong as it gripped a lot of people because I got it really late in its life cycle. But I did play like 150 hours of it when I had it. But it, like I said, I got it really late in its life cycle. But this game, I got it literally the day it came out on PC, and I've been loving it so much. It's just so much fun. For some reason, dying to stupid stuff on repeat feels so fun.
Uh, dear journal, I was law abiding. I liked dogs. I took my first damage and one one to a skeleton. I eventually died on two three to a snap trap. Thanks for listening. Demi Von Diamonds. So maybe we'll come back and we'll do a different character for the next episode. But thank you guys so much. I love you guys forever. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one really soon. Bye, everyone. Have a wonderful day.